Hello. We are live again. Hopefully, everything sounds good. Anybody in chat, let me know. I've uh, tweaked a few settings since last time. Fingers crossed. Everything's good. Uh, new noise cancellation, so hopefully there shouldn't be so much of a sort of a scratchy sort of sound when I speak. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go with this for now. Uh, and unless I know, unless I'm told better, then uh, this is what I'm going to go with. But yeah, uh, for those of you who were here before, handful of you that there was, welcome back. This will be part two of Starfield. And uh, yeah, the Lodge of Spacerers. Totally not a reference to any other role-playing game that you've ever played or even heard of. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, just real quick, need to change a setting because my taskbar is popping up and uh yeah we uh we don't want that go to display here you can see the settings that i've got it set to um this is just so that it runs as smoothly as possible on um uh, on stream there are places where it doesn't do so well um again i've not got any optimization mods just yet i had a look at a few and i couldn't make sense of some and uh, some of them uh, didn't actually work so i kind of put that to bed for the time being um but yeah we will um we will go from there so what we're gonna do uh no title bar and frame okay now we should be good to go uh i have played a little bit on a separate save but uh the the one for the stream is completely untouched so uh yeah we're gonna go ahead with this here i'm just going to Make sure I can see everybody in chat there. Hello, Shady. Um, hey, yeah. So, I believe the last time I saved, it was this one. There are a couple of, of other uh, saves. I think it's this. So, yeah, we're going to. Without further ado, let's just get on with it. While the game loads in, I'm just going to check my Discord. And make sure that it's in streamer mode so that we don't get any irritating interruptions as we go along. Uh, killing. Huh? Yeah, so last time uh, we got to the city of New Atlantis uh, with the aid of Vasco. And um, we managed to make it all the way up to the uh, this here lodge um, real quick. Go through my equipment. Um, okay, so yeah, my equipment. Um, managed to come across a very, very lucky uh, find with a legendary spacesuit. It's going to be serving me quite well right off the bat here. Not especially high leveled one, but uh, it has some really, really nice passives. So I uh, don't think I'll be replacing this for uh, too soon, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, so yeah, a uh, couple of other things. Got this uh, boost pack, which uh, I can't use just yet, and I found out that that is because, yeah, you actually need training in the boost pack. Um, Jetpack type. That, in order to actually be able to uh, use these as a as a, as a jetpack. But, um, yeah, here's what it is. Ah, uh, weaponry. I believe I'm running rather low on ammunition. Um, let's see, I've got plenty for the, for the Eon. And for the um, for the Grendel, because the share rounds. Oh no 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 no. Okay no, I definitely have some rounds for this. Excellent. Um, so yeah, I want to look into uh, modifying weapons in this. Uh, weapon modification is uh, going to be a big part of this game for me. I think um, largely because uh, it's not that there's a problem with the base weapons, but I've seen what some of the weapons can do now. A couple of videos and read a couple of things, and uh, yeah, uh, some of the modifications you can make to to weapons makes them handle. Completely different. And um, so, yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, so, without any more talk, let's go. Make sure I've got my grenades cooked, yeah. Okay. Let's go into the lodge, which is this building right before us, and um, see what they were. See what the lodge of. What is it? Constellation? Constellation. See what Constellation wants from us. Captain 
Sam. Everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. All right, two seconds here. This way, Captain. Okay, just keeping an eye on sound levels here, and uh, hopefully, hopefully everything's still good. Uh, Shady, if you're in chat, does uh, does everything sound okay? You two keep going on like this, and I'm banning wages. I'm serious. Hmm. You'll play nice. Just a little friendly conversation, Sarah. That's all. You know, it dawns on me <coughs> real quick. Uh, I can toggle this option and this one here because I don't really need to be uh, <laughs> wearing my full space gear when I'm on when I'm planning. So we'll do that. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? <clears throat> Right. Oh, sorry, Shady. Yeah, uh, just just saw your message in chat there. Yeah, how does this sound? Um, my speech coming through nice and clear, not crackly or anything like that. Um, made some tests and I've checked it myself and it sounded okay to me, but uh, that's not always a guarantee it's good. How's this? Is the game loud enough? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less. All right, excellent. Thank you. Sam, are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Captain, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales, if this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. All right. Just before we do that, I want to change a setting. Full grain intensity. I don't really enjoy the film grain stuff. Um, it's my eyes, actually. <laughs> so, let's, uh... That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our little friend? <laughs> so, Sounds ominous. are you ready to get to work? 
See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours. <laughs> a big beam of metal passing in front of a face. It's fine. What's in con- uh, You want me in consolation. What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. This is all a little much. Need some time to clear my head. Fair enough, but you need a place to stay in the city, right? Why don't you settle in here? We owe you that much. Come find me when you're ready. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. Yes, I have. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Already got one of those, lady. You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Hey, level up. Well, I think I know what I'm going to spend this uh, kill point on. And we did ballistics uh, last time. Yeah, we've got another uh, challenge here to kill 50 enemies with a ballistic weapon. That will drop in time at all. Um, so science, this is all the research stuff. It'll be a while before I can really go into a deep dive on this, but uh, I look forward to doing so. Uh, where are we? Ballistic weapon systems, that's for ship. Boost pack training, here we are. Specialized training and innovations and personal mobility systems have allowed for unfettered exploration on alien worlds. Unlock. You can now utilize boost packs. Let's grab that. Rank 2. Complete the previous rank challenge to unlock this rank. Boost jump 10 times whilst in combat. Hmm. Uh, how easily I'll be able to do that, but she did give me a boost pack, so... Let's see, is it any better than mine? Uh, Stat-wise, in terms of its resistances, yeah, quite a bit. Uh, but this gives me um, less damage from alien enemies and uh, resources weigh 25% less. So when I'm out on a on a planet, mining stuff, uh, grabbing plant matter and you know alien bits as well, those all weigh 25% less. And this is a, a basic boost. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to hold on to this and keep using this one for the time being. I find myself getting shredded. Um, yeah, if I, if I find myself getting shredded too much, then yeah, I'll switch out to this one for its extra resistances. But for now, for now, we're going to keep this one. Hello, smoking rat. Just be in constellation. Find point in space. Now, don't move. <laughs> does the does this game still have a skill point for making toast? I have no idea. I have no idea. Possibly. <laughs> Stick with me, Rat, and we'll uh, we'll find out together, huh? <laughs> All right. Okay, so spooky halo thing in the middle here. Um, looks like it's pulling stuff in. It looks like it's fucking stuff into a vacuum. Is this a Dyson sphere? Bad puns aside, let's move on. Okay, so I'll talk to you in a minute, Bearer. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. That I agree. Was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess I'll it's say. not overwhelming now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Uh, you're welcome, I guess. You seem to know a lot about these artifacts. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, <laughs> we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. Let's see. I was wondering about other types of exploration work besides the artifact. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Hmm, interesting. Oh, okay, so they've got a mission board for me. Lovely, lovely. The vision I saw, what do you think that was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, 
I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. Oh, hmm. So this seems like one of those moral choice situations. Ah, uh, Barrett saw something he too. Did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. Apparently not. All right. Um, hmm. So there's a reasonable explanation. There might be a reasonable explanation. I wasn't there. I didn't see what you saw. I'm just not in a position to say for sure. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Well, I mean, technically, no, because I haven't joined up with your band of merry men just yet, Noel. But I'm going to because it, it, it plot device, right? Plot device. That's that's what this is all about. <laughs> Let me know how I can help you learn more. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Space bug collector. Got it. <laughs> Literally, yeah, organic stuff. Got it. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Uh, let me see. I've got some organic resources. Anything I can you. learn from is a help. Ah, oh, okay, so I can just sell straight to her. Okay. Um, what have I got? What can I sell her that I won't need? Probably none of this. Yeah. Okay. So nothing for now. Um, Sarah says something about Planning placing me to spy. around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Sounds good. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Well, he is. He's quite proud of the collection, but Mateo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there. If you need a moment oh. of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part. At least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, hmm. had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I am at your service, Captain. Excellent, Vasco. As you were. You know, I... I get some serious, uh, Croft Manor vibes from this place, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, updated for a <laughs> much more modern game universe, but... The vision? Just a bad trip, bro. Take all the hallucinogens you can find. <laughs> so this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself. Within reason, of course. Now, let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already. But there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. I will be making great use of this. <laughs> also, trust your robot overlords. <laughs> oh, implicitly, Rap. Implicitly. What could go wrong? <laughs> okay, this will okay. be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Thank you, Noel. Ah. 
The king is in his court. <laughs> I remember the very first time I uh, I walked into this um, this room. Uh, actually, it was yesterday. Uh, when I was playing on a different save, I was uh, talking with a couple of friends at the time, and I just remember looking around this place and thinking, "They, these people, they know me. Whoever designed the interior of this room, they know me. That would be better if it was a Bordeaux, but I'll take the Chardonnay. Uh, Alright, well, to keep with tradition, let's really quickly take a little sleepy sleep. Uh, this will, of course, save the game for us. <laughs> I have no idea what this game is about, so I'm just going to make stuff up. Now, honestly, um, the only real clue I've got so far is the name Starfield, you know, reference to space. Um, I know a couple of things. Um, there's a, a lot of uh, running and gunning, a lot of looting and shooting, um, and uh, yeah, space magic, uh, from what I understand. Um, but that's as much as I've uh, as much as I really know. I've tried not to spoil myself uh, on this call, um, just cause. I've heard good things. I've heard bad things. We're just gonna play through it and see how we get on, I guess. Okay, so Sarah mentioned something about joining the thing. Well, let's go join the thing. Oh, there's a common room, if there's anything useful in there. So that was my room. This is my room. So this room. Nope. This room. This is the common room. Man, look at that. Is that a TV or a projector screen? It's a projector screen. Okay, I thought it was a TV. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Oh well. Uh, anything useful for me in here? Uh... Oh! Oh, you know what we've got to do? How silly of me. We've got to christen the place. Obviously. Uh, what's good? What's good? Cocktail makers, blah blah blah. Ah, oh, the taps don't work. And the Livingston's journal. I dare say this is probably worth a read, real quick. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, as a general rule, I don't read through all of the law books in and of the, uh, in here uh, on this game, rather. Um, only typically if it looks relevant to like what I'm doing at the time. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll make an exception just as once, just so that we can kind of get acquainted with uh, where we are. Sir Malcolm Livingston's appointment to the role of Constellation Chair was controversial to say the least, as he essentially bought his way into the position. Nevertheless, Banks' contributions to the organisation were substantial, as evidenced by this excerpt from his personal journal. In time, the others will come to accept me as Chair, I'm sure. Until then, I remain committed to improving this organisation to the best of my abilities. And if the, those improvements rely even more on my already considerable monetary contributions, then so be it. I agreed we needed a robot, but disagreed with the purchase of a newer Model A. Lunar Robotics is a shadow of what it once was. Instead, I managed to procure an original Model A, manufactured on the moon. Bought him for a song, found him rusting in some junk heap in Aquila City. I'm having him refurbished as I write this, and in a couple of days he'll be as good as new. I've decided to name him Vasco, and like his namesake, I imagine he'll be as flawed as he is effective. My next step is renovating the lodge. Sebastian Banks has the good sense to name the building appropriately, but it's time to inject a bit of old world grandeur. If we are to be the gatekeepers of art, science, culture, and exploration, our headquarters must express that. It's time I called in some favours and searched in those hidden corners of the settled systems to procure the things that would truly make this place come alive. There are treasures from old earth that desperately need an appropriate home. And I automatically picked that up. I didn't want to, but oh well. Okay, so a little bit of uh, background on um, uh, Malcolm down there. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Port. Uh, mm, feeling any of that, really. Dracula. Moby Dick. The Origin of Species. Nicholas Nickleby. Yeah, some good works here. Some good works. So, uh, where the red wine at? I mean, I can get by on port, but... Ah, here we are. 
Cabernet Sauvignon, the Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Cab Sauv, Chardonnay, Sauv, Cab Sauv. Man, no Bordeaux. Well, you know what? I'm feeling Pinot Noir, but let's do that. Aid. Do, 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 do. Chandra Pinot Noir. Chandra Vineyard's medium bodied red wine with notes of cranberry and licorice. Delightful. Alright. This bar has now been christened by my good self. Let's get on with things, shall we? It has been determined that for the long term health of our patients. Hmm. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Oh. We've always considered ourselves explorers. This really is uncharted territory, isn't it? Sarah. I'm listening. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? <laughs> oh, okay, so, you know, I, uh... I was automatically signed up. Uh, I still need some time I to get understand. settled. You've been through a lot. Just let me know when. Why don't I take a look outside in the garden, see if there's anything of interest out there. Huh. This is cool. This is cool. Huh. Moth vine. Oh, oh. I can, um, what do you call it this? Can I scan this? No, can't scan it. I, I can harvest it. Oh. Huh. Hello there, Vasco. Greetings, Walter Stroud. How may I assist you? Oh. Uh, no, I don't need anything. Just uh, checking in, seeing how you're doing. At present, base toast. Are functioning <laughs> well with it is the next logical step. Parameters. You're quite right. Right. Well then, keep up the good work. Yes, Walter Stroud. I will. Okay, so I need the lodge key. Which I have. <laughs> I'll read down here. Ah, yes. These are all uh, these are all research stations at their at various types. Well, not research. This is the research lab. So I can learn about new technologies and such at the research lab, and then I can use these stations to actually craft stuff. Uh, let's steal the med, uh, med pack, though. Uh, never have too many of those. I have no idea what any of those are, but... Uh... Ooh, cooking station. So, when I started out my character here, um, I wanted a sort of an ex-soldier kind of vibe. Um, but I didn't just want to go sort of straight soldier. So, uh, what I ended up doing was picking up the uh, the build, uh, the, or the, the starting build that gave me gastronomy. Um, so yeah, it requires me to make five food items to do the uh, next challenge. But I've got only got the one distilled water. Increases experience gain, so that's uh, that's cool. Grilled cheese sandwich. I mean, there you go, wrap. There, there's your space toast. And it's even got cheese with it. What's not to love? Huh? <laughs> I think I've left most of my ingredients back on the, uh, on the frontier. So, I uh, can't cook just there. Oh, can't cook that just yet. Uh, what else do we have? This is a uh, spacesuit workbench. This is the industrial workbench. Now, I happen to know that this is where you combine lesser mat or um, no, raw materials into process materials that can then be made into other things. Um, so, Odessa will be making use of that. The weapon workbench. And indeed, there are baseless rounds there, so I'll take those. Baseless shotgun shell. Ooh! Hello. So this is the Coachman shotgun, and it's got the anti-personnel modify uh, modification on it. Sixty-two damage. Uh, okay, so it's a simple two-shot, double-barreled. I believe I've already got some of those. I do. I'll take it with us. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'll get much in the way of usage out of it, 
uh, are kind of specking into ballistic weapons, but are, I'll probably lean into rifles more so than shotgun. Um, just because of the way I play, I suppose. But uh, yeah, so I'll favorite this. And that needs to go in slot one. Um, and then I'll also favorite that. And we will put that into slot nine for the time being. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, let's have a quick look at weapon modification while we're here. I don't think I can do much of anything at the moment. But Milestrom, Barrel, Long Barrel. So I need Barrel Mods 1, Required Research. Do I have the things to do that with? Research Station over here. Uh, weaponry. Barrel mods one. I do indeed. Oh. Okay, so it auto. Okay, so it's got a chance to skip out material cost. Lovely. Uh, barrel mods two. I'm blocked. I need weapon engineering rank one. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that for some time. Optics and laser. Can I do this? No, I need chlorosylanes. Hmm. I do have plenty of this. Aha! Sometimes it's worth taking a chance. Alright. Grips and stock mods. Uh, I don't want to spend any more nickel if I can avoid it. Because uh, I know I'm going to need some for making the barrel. How many nickel did I need? Was it one or two? I don't remember. Hey, level up! Let's have a quick... Let's have a quick shifty, shall we? Um, physical. Fitness. Use a pool available oxygen 20 times. Hmm. Don't think I'm going to go for stealth. Because uh, stealth archer builds, they're just... They always seem to be very powerful in Bethesda games, and I don't really want to give myself too much of an advantage early on. I will go for it eventually, I'm sure, but not right now. Ooh, weightlifting. Increase total carrying capacity by 10 kilograms. So presumably that's 10 units. Uh, increase your maximum health by 10%. That might not be a bad idea. Persuasion, scavenging, theft. Um... Buy for 5% less and sell for 10% more. No, I'm going with that. That's absolutely... That's always the case with Bethesda games. Stuff is so expensive early on, and you don't get very much. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go with that. And I've got to buy or sell 25 unique items. Okay, well, that's... that's. We'll do that accidentally, I'm sure. Okay, back to the weapon modding. What do we uh, What do we need to do here? So it was... I wanted to modify my Milestrom. And put a long barrel on it. Okay, it's only one nickel. All right. Uh, confirm. We'll do that. Muzzle. That needs nickel as well. Can't change grip on stock, can I? What does that actually do? Uh, looks like it just makes it lighter. And, it, and obviously increases its value. So, standard magazine. Uh, large mag. Make it heavier. But I can afford it. Well, this is my semi-automatic one, so uh, mag size is not super important, so I think I'll save that for the time being. Internals, no mod. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can get any of these. Internal mods, one. That's probably locked behind, and it requires iridium and platinum as well, so... Yeah, I think that's a long way off. Uh... Yeah, I I did I did have two nickel and now I only have the one. Um, the um, what do you call it? Um, nickel's fairly common from what I understand. Starting aisle, so I will almost certainly find more. Um, I just don't have it like right now. The beauty of uh, of the research as well, from what I understand, is any projects that I start researching now, I can still pick those up when I'm back on the frontier, provided I keep the research lab on the frontier, which I that will do certainly. Pharmacology, uh, grips and start. Sparrow mods, internal internal mods. What do I need for that? Weapon engineering rank two. Yeah, not gonna be able to do that for a while. I will finish this now, just because I've got the one nickel left. Okay. 
the research projects unlocked. So it will be grips and stocks too. Lovely. I think that's enough researching for the time being. Uh, I could really use some more grenades if I can find someone that will sell. Ooh, hold on. Containers here. Laser cartridge. More laser cartridge. Some 777. And some more 777. I wonder if these restock over time. I hope they do. Ooh. Meal pack tofu. Isotopic horn. Adaptive frame zero one. You know, I'm going to leave those there because uh, they will always be there. Uh, I'll take them when I need them because uh, those are quite heavy. They're valuable, but they're heavy. Um, what's this? Ah, mission board. Let's have a look what they're asking for. <clears throat> <laughs> Have you ever heard the expression, I don't have two nickels to rub together? That's you in a moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, wow. That's a lot of, that's a lot of credits. Okay, so locate chart ecosystem in Luna. Right, okay, so this works very, very, very much like the um, Elite Dangerous uh, mission boards. Uh, a little bit less complicated, though, by the looks of it. So... We're looking for an experienced explorer to locate a planet with charred, uh, with charred ecosystem in the Lunara system. This may require surveying multiple planets within the system. Okay. So these are sort of the uh, cycling, repeat like, not repeatable, but repeating quests. By the looks of it, we're looking for an experienced explorer to locate a planet with a continual conductor in the Alpha Andraste system. This may require... I have no idea what... I mean, ecosystem, I'm presuming that's like biome. Crystalline crust. Crystalline crust within the Vega system. Okay, gaseous font in Kumasi. Survey Procyon VB in Procyon Alpha. Oh no, sorry, that's uh, Procyon 6B, 6 Beta in Procyon Alpha. Huh. Well, I have no idea where those star systems are, but given as that's got the uh, least sort of credit reward, I'm imagining that one's quite easy. So I'll pick that one up for the time being. Um, I can probably like pick all of them up, and it's not a problem. I don't know if there's like a hard limit to how many missions you can take, um, but uh, I I don't want to kind of like fill out my quest list with too many things to do just for the time being because going to do a little bit of the main story and then um, either the latter half of this stream or you know, uh, on the next one, then I'll pick up some side quests. Um, let's see. Radiant quests. Yeah, yeah, basically. Basically. Um, I don't know if they're radiant in the sense that there are events that will follow on from that. I think these are just go, there, go to a place and do the thing. Or do to a place and go to the thing. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Ooh! Foodstuffs. Lettuce, onions, tomato. Field container. Don't know if that's useful for anything. Uh, can I make anything now? No, no, I cannot. Apart from this. Well, you know what? Let's take that and let's use that. And I will use that as an experience booster for when I next know I'm going to get into a combat situation. All right. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. I think that's everything I need from here. Is there any more containers that I've missed? No, nope, that's a waste paper basket. What have we through here? Are these just all empty rooms? Ah, container. Credit. Public agent. Toilet. Oh, someone's bedroom. Haha, they have greens. War metabolic agent. I hope this person doesn't mind that I am, you know, robbing them blind. Pedder snack crackers. Nobody saw anything. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 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 
That is adorable. They have movies. That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> oh, another one. <laughs> cool. Cosmetic supply. Okay, you know what? That's that's uh, that's a junk item. Fairly sure. So uh, there's a lot of junk items in this game, from what I can see. Um. Hmm. That's the toilet. Wait, hold on. Ah, yeah, yeah. Jugs of presumably water. Huh. The well. I'll go through there in just a second. Oh! Oh, that's cool! Just stuff. Loads of stuff. Supply room. Hmm. Hmm. Needs more sunflowers. Right. Let's go stick our noses in where it's probably unwise to do so. <laughs> My criminal instincts come out at Cheddar Snack Crackers, they absolutely do, and I will not face judgment for them. I see why it's called the well. Hmm. Have we hit garbage? Okay. So, presumably, this is sewage that I'm traipsing through, and these look like turbines of some description. Generators. Well, there's a staircase here, so, um. Let's see what's afoot. I suspect it's 11 or more inches. <laughs> what have we here? The pipes? Hmm. I'm getting some very half lifey vibes right now. Yeah, random boxes. Hmm. Ah. This looks, um, promising, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so it's stealing to take this. Ah, uh, presumably there are fences in the game that will sell. Um, uh, that will purchase stolen goods. I don't know where, though, where I might find those, though. So I'll make a mental note of that, and uh, yeah, if I'm if I'm struggling for cash, I'll uh, I'll come back for that. Ah, oh, man, there's some way I can um, there's some way I can hack that. Probably not. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to go back to where I came. At least for the time being. Nothing here, was there? No, I don't think so. Oh, well. I'll probably get that key at some other point. Um. Hmm. Interesting that Constellation seems to have... Uh, Linked to some sort of underground base or hideout here. Okay. 
If there's a really smart collie or a kid named Timmy, you should be worried. Well, I, d I have, don't suppose I haven't seen a dog yet, actually. I would assume that there is one somewhere. And if there is, I shall pet them and call them dog meat. After all, this is Fallout in space. <laughs> no. All right. Um, probably put this away. Huh? I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Yeah, yeah, they're quite all right. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Constellation, the artifacts. That doesn't sound crazy, does it? No, no, not at all, not at all. I'll just be over here. With the very strange mipmap distortion in this carpet. Huh. What is causing that? Hmm. Strange subsurface scattering, perhaps. Oh well, we'll run with it for the time being. Right, so, and. Uh, Not even at your service, Captain. Very good, Vasco, as you were. Um. So, Sarah is the one I need to talk to. I don't feel bad stomping around here at my size tens, but uh... oh, she's sleeping, uh, fully clothed. Okay, um, so it's night time, presumably. My apologies. Let's see. Okay, looks like I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not quite sure what happened. Eh? Uh, just checking the stream health real quick. Yeah, no, we're looking good. We're looking good. Um, yeah, not quite sure what happened there. But, uh, hey, I'm going to roll with it. Um, I am just going to very quickly uh, save over the top, just in case. Uh, that again. Yeah, not quite sure what happened there. Sorry about that. Um, are we all back? Uh, looks like it. It looks like it. I'm going to make sure that my sound's still coming through real quick. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Most strange. That something uh, sounds a little bit crappy, actually. Uh, let's see. What's going on here? Get rid of that. Hmm. Okay. There was a picture on the wall uh, back across from Vasco. Picture, you say? Okay, let's have a look, see. Back across from Vasco. <laughs> Very good. Hmm. There you go, rat. Uh, oh, the other side. Uh, this one, yes? I presume you mean this one? <laughs> oh. You're the only one that can save us, Luke. I feel like that should be a clock. Well, yes, yes, I am. Anyway, um, I was going to go and take a rest real quick. Just so that we start out in the day. Um, let's see, what is the local time? 1.15 a.m. Uh, thinking six hours should be plenty. No game audio at all. 
Is that right? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is all looking very good. Much better. Hmm. Okay, just quickly going to remove that there. You know, it wouldn't be uh, my stream without uh, there being some technical difficulties, huh? <laughs> All right, let's get back to it, shall we? Now, okay, so uh, the time of day is uh, not yet daytime, I don't think. Let's see. Oh, no, 6.45. Okay. So uh, time to wake up, Sarah. We've got things to do. Um, streaming to catch up on. So uh, wakey, wakey, eggs and uh, no bacon for you. Go on, sass me, first thing in the morning. Go on. I quite agree. I'm ready. Okay. So, uh, still no game audio right there, I'm, I'm presuming. Alright, real quick. Okay, real quick, just going to try and figure out what's going on here. So, properties. Change that real quick. Okay, hopefully. Okay, you should have sand again now. Okay, yeah, I can see it lighting up properly in OBS now. Okay, yeah. Uh, sound device must have crapped out whilst I was uh, encountering issues there. Uh, let's see. Um, real quick, what is YouTube complaining at me about now? Let's see. Okay, so it's not receiving enough video. Looks fine. Yeah, looks absolutely fine to me. Okay, never mind then, YouTube. <laughs> okay, so what is it she wants me to do? Let's go for a little stroll through Atlant Atlantis. New Atlantis, she said. So we're going to follow the blue marker for the time being. Okay, um, you can hear both again now, yeah, right? That's that's right, yeah. Quality's fine again. I'm gonna keep an eye on chat. Okay, so where does she want us to go? Holy crap, lady! Slow down. Whoa. <laughs> I need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Until later. What do you mean, until later? Come on! It's you and me from here out. No problem. My contact is in. Sure, I'm right behind you. Okay, audio is good. Excellent, yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Frame rate. Dying here. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. 
Yeah, you can see in the uh, in the bottom left-hand corner there, Rat. If you uh, if you look, there is my frame rate indicator. It is struggling here, <laughs> and yet usage is not even above fifty percent. So there's some optimization issues here, in a big way. Aha! Boost pack. Okay, so that was a complete system-wide crash, um, and it was caused by a crashing graphics driver. So somewhere down the line, there is a bug with the game, uh, which is causing it to crap out entirely. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is, uh, but I will certainly try and find out in the future, because, uh, yeah. No, not going to lie, that is, um, <laughs> that's pretty disastrous. Um, so, I don't know whether this is a Linux thing, or whether this is a Windows thing, or, or, what, or what this is, but I will try and figure that out the next time. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I hope so too, Rat. I hope so too. It's, uh, it's not great. It's not great, but um, this is what happens when we play Bethesda games before uh, unofficial patches come out for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the stream here, and I'm going to look into that. And if I can get it sorted out tonight, I will fire the stream back up. Uh, if not, then I will have to uh, do that, well, uh, stream again another day. Um, I will be off work tomorrow afternoon, so fingers crossed... I can at least get it out, uh, at least can get it sorted out before then. Uh, so yeah, uh, if uh, if I can't get it sorted out at all, then <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to look into another game to stream, or, uh, or well, something else to stream. Might not be a game, might be something else entirely. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thanks everyone for tuning in, uh, and I will try and get these issues sorted out and get it all squared away. Um, I will probably do a quick edit of the uh, of the stuff on this, the, the the failings on this, and then get this released as a video. Um, so yeah, yeah. So uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, please drop a like on the video if you liked what you did manage to see. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. Hope to see you back here for part three. Okay.